Um, all right, well, welcome guys. As you all know, my name is John Udaibe, the CEO of Sparky Graphics. So today we'll be making um, um, an engineering flyer, very simple engineering flyer. So the first thing you have to do is where you move over to your browser, okay? So we'll be using um, Chrome browser, okay? Chrome. I actually prefer using Chrome browser, so we'll use Chrome browser to make the design. So you go to Chrome browser, you search for poster my wall, okay? You type poster my wall on your browser, okay? Poster my wall.com. So you allow it to load it to open, okay? Poster my wall will open, okay? Now, when it opens, you are designing an engineering flyer. So the first thing you have to do is when you tap on the search button here. Tap on the search button. When you tap on the search button, you will be asked to write the what you want. So we are doing an engineering flyer. So we type we type engineering flyer. Engineering flyer. So we search. Okay. So I like to load. So when it loads, you will see lots of templates, engineering templates, okay? We we'll see lots of engineering templates. So you see lots of them. So you just select one out of all of them and we do what? And we work with it, okay? We have lots of engineering flyers here. So we we'll just use one template and then we work with it. So we we'll use, let's work with this. So you tap on it, okay? Then you'll be asked to edit design. So you click on edit the design. So you edit it. So wait for it to load. I'm waiting for the design to load so that I can actually edit it. Okay. So you wait for it to load so that I can edit the design. So when the design when this when the design actually loads completely, the next thing you have to do is what you have to edit the right tops to suit what you want, okay? What you actually want. So you edit the right top to fit what you want. So for instance, you have seen this company tagline. So if you have any company in mind, you tap on it, okay? You highlight it, then you click on this point, this at your bottom right, you tap on it, okay? This will open, okay? So you go to where you have the company, you tap on it and do what? And edit that right up. So we'll just use any name. We can say Sparky's Engineering. So you just tap on, tap on Sparky's, okay? So that is the name of the, okay? So when you're done, you tap on the stuff again to go back. You go then. You can see that the, the name of the company has been written, okay? Then, if you have any tagline to use, if you tap on it, okay? But if you don't have something to write and you want to remove it, just tap on it, then click on that arrow. You move down, you see where you see edit, delete button. So you click on delete. That stuff will actually go out. If you don't have something to write, but if you have something to write, you can actually use it. Then if you want to bring it back, you tap at this point, okay? You see the bring back button. The, you can see the stuff is now brought back. So that is that. So you would actually delete it out, okay? Delete it out. Then we go back. Then the next thing is we are okay with the right top. We want to change the phone number, okay? We use our phone number. So what you have to do is we'll tap on it. Then you scroll up. You delete the right top, okay? Leave the right top, then we use our phone number. Okay, that's my phone number. We use it. So you tap on this point, it goes back. Okay. So now you can see that the phone number is being um is here right now. Okay, you can see. So now if you have any logo to use, okay, 
if you want to use any logo if you have any logo in mind you can use it. if you don't have any logo in mind you can also click on it click on this point and then automatically delete that stuff out but i will use my own logo so you click on logo you come to here you look for replace you tap on replace okay you tap on replace you'll be asked to choose your from your photos so you click on from your photos okay so i already have photos on my phone but if you don't have any photo in mind what you have to do is click on upload photo it will take you to your gallery then you select what you want to use okay so i have i have a logo here that i want to use so i'll just tap on it okay then i click here you can see to actually go to my you can see it's loading right now perfect you can see it's, it's actually appearing here you say crop okay let's just crop it at once then it appears right at your top you can see it right there then it will edit this right up you tap on the logo then we delete it outside to not disrupt our design okay you can see the the logo is actually being is actually on top there then if you have any any other right top to put inside here that is not like you want to write something you want to add a right top so what you have to do is what you click on add okay you will see where you'll be asked to add text click on add text tap on plain text okay so once you tap on plain text they start with fetching the font okay so now what will happen is that you have um, an option to write anything you want so if you want to write something what you have to do is what if you want to write something what you have to do is what tap on the add your text then click on it then you write the text that you want okay you write the text that you want you write the text that you actually want so for instance if you want to add um um nigeria for instance if you want to write nigeria you write it so you can see that you can actually add any text that you want that is not present on the template so you can see nigeria is there so you can drag it to anywhere you want to place it we want to take it down here Okay, you want to place it here so that is how you can actually add any write-up to your design so this is what you do then you also have the address you can change the address edit the address if you want to just just tap on the address okay tap on the address and do, do what and then edit it so that is how to work with um your poster my wall how to make an engineering flyer so once you are done you click on this arrow on these three dots click on download okay click on download your design will be preparing okay you just calm down and wait for it to prepare well then once it's done, you are done preparing it the next thing you have to do is so tap on download okay tap on download tap on download and wait for it to save wait for it to save okay wait for it to save Wait for it to save then you click on download you can see so now automatically your design has been downloaded straight to your gallery if you go to your gallery you will see your design thank you very much um see you guys if you have any question you can always reach out to me at any time my phone number is always on the description below thank you and remain blessed.